Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, the Duval County School Board now joining the fight against the Hilltop Village Apartments. The News 4 Jack's I team has documented the filthy living conditions there for months. This government subsidized apartment complex in Northwest Jacksonville is infested with mice. And now the school board believes it's not safe for its students to live there and board members are demanding that the state take action. News for Jack's reporter Renee Beninati went to tonight's school board meeting where the board discussed this plan and she's joining us live from the school district headquarters. Renee. Ken, at tonight's meeting, the school board specifically said that investigations by News 4 Jacks actually helped them realize just how bad the living conditions were at this apartment complex. Now they say enough is enough. Imagine finding rodent after rodent after rodent in your drawers, living in your cabinets, and even burrowed inside your furniture. That's the reality for many people living here at the Hilltop Village Apartments. Tijuana Hairston's daughter and granddaughter live there. It's like a nightmare. I mean, really, this should be a movie. Mm -hmm. News 4 Jax's I team has exposed the ongoing mice infestation at the complex, grabbing the attention of U.S. Senator Marco Rubio, who is now calling for more federal inspections. The investigations have also caught the attention of the Duval County School Board, especially because close to 200 of the district students live in these apartments. It clearly shows how just how bad the problem is in that complex. The school board approving a resolution Wednesday calling for HUD to stop issuing Section 8 housing vouchers at these apartments until the problem is fixed. Oftentimes we focus on the tenants and that usually means the parents. Uh, but we forget oftentimes that our students who live there reside in that complex uh, have to get up and go to school each day. Community members hoping action is taken sooner rather than later. This resolution was said sent to HUD, but that does not mean that any plans are set in stone just yet. Now, the school board here in Duval County joins others like the city of Jacksonville, putting pressure on this apartment complex to make sure that people that live there have a safe and sanitary place to live. Reporting live in Duval County, Renee Beninati, Channel 4, The Local Station.